Hello friends, welcome back to our new video that is MCQs on ecology and this is the part one of the series of videos on ecology topics. So let's start the question and question on this topic. So the first question of this video that is question number one. Uh, habitat is option A tropic level occupied by organisms, option B the same as an ecosystem, option C a particular area habited by plants and animals or option D the number of different organisms living in a specific area is known as a habitat. So which one is the correct one? So the right one is option C that is a particular area inhabited by plants and animals is known as a habitat. Okay. So next question they can get next is question number two. So, an uh, acceptable co concept of ecological niche is that it represents the option A, tropic status of a species in a community or option B, unique microhabitat of a species, option C, sum of total species use of biotic and abiotic sources of the environment or option D, it is a unique combination of the tropic status and the microhabitat of a species. So, which one is correct about the Nishi? And the right one is option D. It is unique combination of the tropic status and the microhabitat of a species. So, the acceptable concept of ecological Nishi is that it represents the unique combinations of the tropic status and the microhabitat of a species. Okay, and here we will see uh, ecological niche is the role and position of a species in its environment. It is normally said that ecological niche is the role and position of a species in its environment. It describes how a species meets its needs for food and shelter, how it survives and how, how it reproduces. So it also includes all of its interactions with the biotic and abiotic factors of its environment. Okay, this is all about ecological niche. So the next question is question number three. So ecological equivalent describes option A, groups of species with comparable roles, option B, Species that occupy the same niche in different geological regions. Option C, diversity of habitats or option D, social behavior that enhance the fitness of other individuals in the population. So which one is correct about ecological equivalent? And the right one is option B, that is species that occupy the same niche in different ge geological regions. Okay. And here we will see ecological equivalents are two species from different taxonomic group that have adapted to similar niche and habitats in different places. That is known as equi ecological equivalents. Okay. So let's move on to next question that is uh, freshwater wetland includes option A riverine wetland such as floodplains, option B. Uh, lacustrine wetlands such as lake and ponds option c palustrine wetlands such as marshes bogs fence or option d all of the above so which one is correct about freshwater wetland and the right one is option d that is all of the above are a freshwater wetland okay so let's move on to question number five all the energy in food chains originate from option a plant option b animals option c sun option d autotrophs and the right one is option c that is sun so all the energy in a food chain originates from sun so the next is question number six a food web is option a only exist in pond ecosystem Option B, it shows how feeding relationships are interlinked. Option C, that is, it shows the number of organisms in a habitat. Or option D, only shows important animals. So, which is the correct about the 
food web so the right answer is option b that is a food web shows how feeding relationships are interlinked so here we will understand this thing so a food web consists of all the food chains in a single ecosystem each living thing in an ecosystem is part of a multiple food chain so here we will see that here you can see this is a food chain and in a ecosystem multiple food chains are available so here in a in this food chain it starts with a decomposer uh, by using the decomposer's energy plants grow then plants are eaten by this deer then is deer can be eaten by this wolf then wolf when died they decomposes into there and the nutrients come to the soil so this is a food chain similarly multiple food chains are available in our in a one ecosystem and that multiple food chains are accordingly is known as a food wave okay this is known as a food wave understand so let's move on to next question that is question number seven so which of the following is not a positive interaction and the options are option a commensalism option b proto cooperation option c amensalism option d mutualism and the right one is option c that is amensalism so which of the following is not a positive interaction that is amensalism is not a positive interaction so here we will see amensalism is a biological interaction between two species where one species is harmed or killed by the other that's why it is called negative interaction so the other species remains unaffected or in same case but both species may be harmed so this is a negative interaction between two species in an ecosystem okay so let's move on to question number eight that is ecotone is best described as the option a state of equilibrium among various tropic levels in an ecosystem option b potentiality of an animal to adjust to new circumstances option c transition zone between two or more diverse communities or option d maximum biomass and ecosystem can support so which one is described ecotone at the best way so the right answer is option c about the ecosystem so sorry ecotone so ecotone is best described as the transition zone between two or more diverse communities so what is eco ecotone where we will see and ecotone is an area that act as a boundary or a transition between two ecosystems a common example could be an area of marshland between a river and its river bank so that is an ecotone the area that act as a boundary or a transition between two ecosystem that is known as ecotone so next is question number nine a community with low species diversity and high dominance is said to be option a unproductive but stable option b productive but unstable option c neither productive nor stable option d both productive and stable and the right one is option a that is unproductive but stable so a community with low species diversity and high dominance is said to be unproductive but stable okay so the next one is option question number 10 that is competition for resources is strongest among option a organisms belonging to single species option b organisms belonging to two or more closely related species or option c organisms belonging to two or more distantly related species or option d all species in an environmental niche so the correct answer about the competition for resource is strongest among option a that is organisms belonging to single species that is the competition for resource is highest among organisms belonging to single species okay understand so let's move on to question number 11 that is the Sanon Weber index or also known as Sanon Winner index is useful to measure option a wetland pollution levels 
option b visibility in smog polluted areas option c species diversity in an ecological community or option d rate of biomass transfer in a food chain so the right one is option c that is species diversity in an ecological community so the shannon weaver index is useful to measure species diversity in an ecological community okay next is question number 12 that is among the ecological relationship below which is most different from the other three and the options are option a fungal mycelia and algal cells in lichen option b salmonella in the human gut option c cellulose digestion protozoa in termite gut option d nitrogen fixing bacteria in root nodules so which one has the ecological relationship so the right answer is option b so that is the salmonella in human gut which is not the uh, correct which is different uh, from here in respect of ecological relationship other than this three so among the ecological relationship below which is the most different from the other so different one is salmonella in the human gut okay so the next one is question number 13 that is immediately after a fire vegetation grows back extremely rapidly mainly because option a the shade of the forest is gone and all the plants are able to grow faster option b there is an increase in the availability of chemical elements that's why they grow faster or option c of an increase of organic compounds in the soil or option d predators are removed from the environment so which one is the correct about the question number 13 that is immediately after fire vegetation grows back extremely rapidly mainly because option b that is there is an increase in availability of chemical elements okay so let's move on to question number 14 that is of the following which is the major distinction between primary succession and secondary succession and the options are option a length of time necessary for recovery option b secondary succession involves human distribution or intervention option c in secondary succession there are remnants of a previous biological community or option d primary succession is characterized by low genetic diversity so the right one is option c that is in secondary succession there are remnants of a previous biological community so of the following which is the major distinction between primary succession and secondary succession and the right one is option c in secondary succession there are remnants of a previous biological community so what is succession so here we will see primary succession occur in an environment without previous life or a barren habitat so secondary succession occurred in an area that had previously been inhabited but experienced a disturbance such as a wildlife okay so this is the difference between primary succession and secondary succession so let's next question is question number 15 late successional plants are option a are shed intolerant option b requires soil rich in all nutrients option c are called climax species or option d grow rapidly and the right one is option c that is are called climax species so here we will see early uh, success, uh, successional communities are those that establish themselves relatively quickly after disturbance while late successional communities are those that establish them, themselves much later this is the difference between early and late successional communities and uh, they are also called climax species okay so the next one is question number 16 early successional plants are option a grow slowly option b are shade tolerant or option c are called climax species or option d requires soils 
soils rich in nutrients so which one is correct about early successional plant and the right one is option d that is the required soil rich in nutrients okay so the next one is which of the following is not an example of in situ conservation strategies and the options are option a biosphere reserve option b botanical garden option c national park or option d scared groups so the right one is option b that is botanical garden is not an example of in situ conservation strategies so here we will see in situ conservation is a practice of protecting species in their natural habitats and it involves the conservation of ecosystems and natural habitats as well as the maintenance and recovery of viable populations of species okay so this is in situ conservation so the next one is question number 18 and endemic species is option a a species found uniquely in one place option b a species carrying an epidemic disease option c a species at an early phase of its evolution or option d a taxonomist mistake so which one is correct one the correct one is option a that is a species found in uniquely in one place that is known as endemic species here we will see endemic species are plants and animals that are native to a specific geographical region and cannot be found anywhere else in the world that is endemic species so the next one is question number 19 that is biodiversity is described as option a all genetic and species diversity option b the seasonal and daily changes in an environment or option C the way species differ from one another or option D the influence of physical factors on an environment and the right one is option A that is all genetic and species diversity is known as biodiversity so biodiversity is all the difficult sorry different kinds of life you you will find in one area so the variety of animals plants fungi and even microorganisms like bacteria that make up our natural world is known as biodiversity so the last question of this video that is ddt has been banned from many developed countries because of its option a high toxicity of mammals option b high degree of persistence in the environment or option c low toxicity to insects or option D high solubility in water so the right one is option B that is high degree of persistence in the environment so DTT has been banned from many developed countries because of its high degree of persistence in the environment so DTT or dichloro diphenyl chloroethane di, di, uh, sorry dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane is a chemical compound that was originally developed as an insecticide so DTT is an insecticide okay so these are all 20 questions of this part 1 video on the topic of ecology so thank you for watching this video